Good morning, everyone. Today is the 20th October, Saturday morning. And we are ready to go through the 8th chapter of John. Christ makes some very pointed remarks directed at these Jews who are condemning him. Probably one of the most significant verses in this chapter is the 44th verse which says, He tells them, Ye are your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and bode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. So Jesus is telling these unbelieving Jews that they're of, their, they're of their father the devil. You know, there was this ongoing uh, conflict between Jesus and the spiritual leaders of the day. Jesus went up into the Mount of Olives and early in the morning he came at, again into the temple and all the people came unto him and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they said unto him, Master, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. What sayest thou? And they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued to ask him, he lifted up himself and said to him, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, being beginning at the eldest even unto the last and Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman he said unto her, Woman, where are thou those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord, and Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Then again, Jesus, then spake Jesus again in them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said to him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said to them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For, for I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone. But I and the, I and the Father that sent me it is also written in your law that the testimony of men is true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true, for I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye yeah, you judge after the flesh, I judge no man, and yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me it is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bear witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus, again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and ye shall die in your sins, whether I go, ye cannot come. 
Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself, because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come? And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then say they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and judge of you, but he that sent me is true. I speak the, to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake of them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto him, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father taught me, I speak these things. And, it, and he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. And he spake these word, as he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. And, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Then answered they answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were, were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is a servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, for, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which you have seen with your father. They answered and said, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that told you the truth which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they even to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? Ye of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin, and if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said to him, Say we not well that you are a Samaritan and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my Father, and you do dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest to a man, Keep my saying, ye shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead? Whom makest thou thyself? And Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like in you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said unto the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou not hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of, the, of them, and so passed by. Well, I've often told people that during the 1967 war, um, 
they were everyone was making a hoopla that the reason that Israel won the war was because they were God's chosen people and God had delivered them. Just like people are making that same hoopla today. My dad told us, well, the family, he said, let me tell you something. All of the Jews are not God's chosen people. He said, I'll tell you how I can know that to be the case. If all the Jews were God's chosen people, they would embrace Jesus Christ as their Messiah, but they don't. They reject him as the Messiah. That's exactly what Jesus Christ is saying here. You know, he says, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, you you should have known my father also. You know? And he says, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. And uh, he tells them that uh, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. And he said, if God were your father, you would love me. He says, the reason you don't understand my speech is because you cannot hear my words. He says, you're of your father the devil. That's what he told him. It's basically what my dad said back in 1967. Well, now we're now having the same thing occur all over again. All over the world, we're having these churches proclaim that all the Jews are God's chosen people. All the Jews are not God's chosen people. Just like all the Gentiles aren't God's chosen people. The only ones that are God's chosen people are the ones that hear his words and do them. So this is really what this passage is about this morning. and People are going to make a lot of accusations that I'm anti-Semitic and everything else, and I'm not. I have nothing against the Jewish people any, any more than I have against any other group of people on the face of the earth. But the fact is, not all are God's elect. Only those who have been given the eyes to see and the ears to hear the truth. May the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.